Hey guys, Steve Havel, coach, consultant, and ambassador sharing the love. And this week, the message is about the concrete microphone. Let me tell you what that means. It's about honoring the people in our life that have passed. You see, we've, most of us have experienced loss of some sort, people that are closest to us. It starts out as pets and then our grandparents, and we all have to find a way to deal with that, to integrate that loss, to, to allow us to really grapple with it and, and find a way to, to come to terms with it. And for me, my dad passed away when I was really young. I was 14 years old, he was only 40. And there's a brain tumor and it came and took him in like a year and a half. And man, it was intense. And I say that just to share with you that I've been dealing with how to integrate that for a long time. And one of the ways that I did was I would come here and sit here at what I called the concrete microphone. I've been calling it that for 30 plus years. And I'd connect. I just, you know, make that connection. I'd come with a notepad and I'd just start writing. And it was as if he was talking to me. It was amazing. And it's been very healing for me, but it's a way that I've connected. And now I don't have to be here on site at the concrete microphone. I can, I can connect anywhere. And you know, it's like having a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth connection to your concrete microphone wherever you are, whether it's a loved one. And so I just want to relate to anyone that's had that loss in their life or you're, you're dealing to, you're, you're working and struggling to deal with loss now. I honor the struggle. I get it. I just feel for all those who have had loss. And what I want to share is that I learned some lessons that have really helped me. Sometimes it's perspective. We can heal ourselves through the power of perspective. And the perspective for me was they're only as far away as I let them be. And I found a place, the concrete microphone, that I could go and plug it in and get the message. And there's life lessons that come that each one of these people that we care about has taught us. And one of them for me was love people now. Share the love big. That was one of the biggest catalysts for me becoming, you know, a champion of sharing the love. And so I just play full out. I love full out. I tell my friends I love them. I give hugs. I'm courageously vulnerable and authentic with my love. And that's become just part of who I am. And I'm encouraging you to do the same, to be courageous with your love and love people now, whatever it is. The second thing it taught me is live a life that you're inspired by. Follow your dream, follow your bliss. It took me a lot of years of doing the should be life and having that job that I didn't really love or that career path and the, the good house and the good life that everybody said you think, you know, the things that you think you should have. And then it just doesn't mean much. And then you start pursuing what really matters. And what really matters is relationships and meaningful work and leaving an impact and making a difference and, and really being a contribution, being of service, being on purpose, expressing your true nature. And that my dad taught me. And a lot of it he taught me through not living that way and seeing the pain that he went through. And I honor him for that. I honor the struggle because he wanted the best for his kids. But I get a chance to be able to learn from that lesson and do my own thing. And the third thing that I realized is, hey, honor your elders. A lot of us, when we turn 25 or so, maybe 30, we start to say, whoa, my parents did a lot for us. You start to appreciate and respect all the things that you never did before. And so whether you have grandparents or parents, or if you have parents now, let them know how you feel. Honor those elders in your life. Get curious about their life. Find out about their story. Find out about their struggles. It'll inspire you. And remember that the beautiful thing is that they never really leave you. They leave the physical plane, but they're always in our hearts. It's only just an inkling away. You've heard me honor my grandmother so many times in these videos. She lives with me in every moment. My dad lives with me in every moment. They helped me to carve my character. That's how you can honor them. You honor them by getting connected. It's the first thing is get connected, get to a peaceful place in meditation and prayer, whatever that is for you, and just plug it in and get connected and ask the questions that you want to know. Tap into what you've been wanting to hear from them. Get connected, say hello, hey, how you doing? And see what you hear, see what you feel, get a notepad, see what comes through. It sounds crazy, right? But it works for me, maybe it'll work for you. It's peaceful, it's freeing, so ask and listen, that's number two. And then again, the third part is just tell people now how you feel about them. If you're upset with your parents, you've been holding a grudge for a long time, go clean it up. Go tell them, go keep it real and give them the, the straight truth. 
go through the struggle, go through the upset to get to the other side because at the end of the day, they love you and you love them. And you want to go to, the, to their service instead of feeling guilty and showing up like so many people are, oh, I wish I would have said that stuff. Say it now. Be complete. Make sure you leave it all on the court in your relationships. You'll be so grateful that you did. That's the message for this week. It's a big one, it's a somber one. I hope it hits you well, I hope it serves you and it makes a difference and it helps you to really go out and have that beautiful, meaningful conversation with the people you love and to realize they're only as far, if they're already gone, they're only as far as you allow them to be. Just connect and honor them through the way you live your life and the things you share and the way that they've helped you carve your character and share those gifts with others. That's this week's message, my friend. I'm Steve Havel, coach, consultant, ambassador sharing the love. And this week and every week, get out there, share the love at a whole new level. Keep it real and be authentic and vulnerable and live your dream today.